All right, we're out here day two in Texas, Lake Monticello. Again, we were gonna head over to Fork, but you can't really leave a place where you catch over 30 pounds with a 10 pounder. I guess the goal today, my personal best is eight and a half. We're gonna go try to get one bigger than that. What do you think, Joe, you ready to go? Shake and bake. Shake and bake. We're gonna start where we caught them yesterday, I think, and then there's a lot more boats today because it is the weekend, but we're gonna move around, hopefully flip some trees. It's cooled off a lot. It's like 30, 35 degrees right now. A little bit of wind, so definitely different conditions than yesterday, but we're at a power plant lake, so I don't think it's gonna change too much. Hopefully we can get them. Joe, what are you starting with? Movement? I'm starting with movement. Yeah. Beauty. Maybe we shouldn't be cranking. I'm gonna throw the trap on. Oh yeah. Need the net for him? You got them on a crank, don't you? You want me to? Well, not very heavy one. Uh, he's strong. I got it. Take that all day. First fish of the day on the old trap. Be three and a half probably. Scuff at it like it's tiny. <laughs> Just a baby. Three and a half, nice man. Good one to start with. Warm your hands up a little bit. I need to catch one so I can sit down and eat breakfast. What's the word here? Uh, I'm gonna drink a quick strike and... You know what, I'm gonna do something different. What are you gonna do? Yeah, let's hear what you're gonna do different. Take you back to the truck. <laughs> yes, please. There ain't no fish in this lake. Well, we fished a couple hours here on Delta Spot A. Made the switch from the movement over to a trap because the water dropped about five degrees. Joe caught one about three and a half pounds. I don't really get it. Apparently, fish don't do the same thing every single day. But we're gonna fish here for 12 hours with the same baits and see if they, they do anything different. No, I'm just kidding. We're gonna go flip some trees and let this warm up a little bit. We all both missed a couple bites in the trap. They seem to be here. We saw a guy lose one that was giant. Uh, they're just not quite getting the bait, wanted to eat. Seems like conditions are setting up a little bit better for the flipping bite. Out. Probably. I can hit the red one. Well, we had to pull the plug on the Monty's cello. Crazy what difference a day makes. The conditions completely changed on us. Water dropped like five degrees. And the Florida strains were not happy about that. So, we're gonna go to a somewhere place. Somewhere else harder. We're gonna go somewhere else that's gonna be way more difficult to catch fish and you probably have never heard of it if you've never fished a day in your life. See if we can't salvage the day. Uh, if not, that's fine too. We got somewhere else to go tomorrow. Here we are. Lake of the Fork. Famed Lake Fork, home of the Slaunch Donkeys. I don't know, it's a giant, giant lake and we only got like three to four hours, but Joe knows it a little bit. So hopefully, hopefully we get one or two bites and here it's always a chance you can get that 12, 15 pounder. Plus a perfect time to be here because it's pre-spawn, hot afternoon, warm afternoon, not warm, it's 55, but it's nicer. It's not 25 degrees anymore. We're gonna make it happen. Let's do it. You ever used one of these? It's called a movement. Where'd they go? Oh, they're that way. 
kind of getting hosed by this front, aren't we? It's all right. I think it probably warmed way, way up too quick. That's what it did at home, and that's when it does that. It seems like in the pre-spawn, they you would think they'd react to it really well, but they don't. Yeah. They don't do anything. Yeah, they know better. Yeah. Any luck today? Really? Huh. Well, we just got here. I got here about a lot. I got on one about a lot. Okay. They were all four or five pounds. There's a couple of pounds. Pretty slow fish in there. Fish, Is there? Yeah, I spent a lot of time up there. Davis, any? There's a couple that are probably 10 or 11 pounds that don't settle down. They're freezing together. Really? Right, you got your bow and arrow with you? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to sit down for a little bit to hide my erection. <laughs> I mean, even if he's only caught like five five pounders, that's pretty good. Not as good as we've done, but pretty good. Oh, yeah, it was a little one. Ooh, that's a big one. Look at that one. Six pounder, five pounder. There's another, look at those two big ones. I think their bed was like just towards us a little bit. That's where they came from. There he is, don't move. Uh, they're just both right there. There's one and there's the other one. Welcome to the party, right? Yeah. Hope y'all brought some beer because we're getting thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> you might have a couple. Oh, that's a big one. Look at that one. That's a giant right there. Yeah, it was. That was like a. Any left back there? Oh, yeah. On the side, yeah, there's a big one sitting right there. Yeah, there's a real big one right back there. On the left, right here. To the left oh. of it. It was. I don't think it was on a bed. It was just hanging out there. It's probably I don't know seven or eight. Where? Right there. Yep. Wonder if he's ever seen a bait. Our right, update from Lake Fork, America. Joe's playing with his dinghy up there, and we're struggling. We uh, we started first spot, fish uh, tried to look for some grass, didn't quite, didn't really find what we were looking for. Everything was really flat. Again, cold front came through last night. Then we went to a little creek uh, about five to ten miles down the lake, uh, where we saw a bunch of bedding fish. And so we just spent a while trying to do that, and it's so uh, addicting and tempting when you can see five, six, seven, eight pounders on beds cruising around, but none of them were really locked on too well, and there was like dozens of boats back there, so they've probably been pounded all day today. So now we're in a little area further back in the creek, and we're gonna try to hit some channel swings, maybe hope for some some staged up fish for some pre-spawners, and give us a better opportunity for the ones that haven't been beat on quite as hard. <music> Well, the Lake Fork was not so successful. We kept moving around, didn't ever put anything together. We only had like four hours. That's a pretty intimidating big lake. For having that much time, we thought maybe we'd be able to get one. We saw so many giant fish in that one little creek. It was it was insane. We fast forwarded a little bit. It's about two in the morning right now and we have locked up to a different lake. We took the truck. We thought locking through would take a little bit too long. So we are a couple states up now switching gears 100% tomorrow. And so I'll be bringing you a new video in a couple days from now, which will be tomorrow. I think we're gonna get some more bites. Hopefully the weather cooperates a little bit. It's supposed to be like in the 20s in the morning. Didn't catch them today, but I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch. As always, go down and subscribe to Melican Fishing if you like these these videos. Let me know if you wanna see me travel around more, do more videos like this. I had a great time this trip so far. Even if you don't catch them today, that's what makes fishing so enjoyable. If we caught them every day, we wouldn't want to come back and have days like yesterday. Just been a great trip so far. 
Hopefully we can make it happen tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Peace. I'm not sorry. I can't stop with a love like mine.